Hi, welcome to another episode of Quick Talks. I'm your host Steve with Retro Tech, and today we're going to be looking at convergence once again, but we're going to be looking specifically at the corner convergence and geometry. So first let's take a look at the problem and then take a quick look at what we can do to fix it. In the last video we fixed the raster of the whole screen and brought our convergence back in. But what do we do when we have a corner, a corner that looks like this? You see we've got convergence along our white lines where they're intersecting with the red lines but also we have bad geometry there in the corner because something's causing that to happen. Let's take a look around the back side of the monitor and see if we can figure out what it is. Here we are behind the monitor and just taking a quick look I can already see what's happened but if you look back behind here around the yoke and touching the CRT glass are these little strips right here and they're usually held on by two-sided tape and as you can see it's safe to put one hand and work on these it's not going to hurt you to touch those but that's what's probably causing that corner issue because these things actually can help control your convergence in the corners so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this thing out and I'm gonna while I'm looking at the front screen I'm gonna just wiggle it around like this and move it around until I see that convergence clear up the geometry get to the way I want it to and since that's the specific corner it's gonna kinda of match back here on the back of the PVM what corner we're looking at so that corner was bad this is the uh, piece of uh, plastic tape that's gonna control that so I'm gonna flip back around on the front side so you can kinda of watch and see the results as they happen Okay, looking back at our corner here, when I start to wiggle it like I was showing you in the back, you can see how it just moves around. And I'll just wiggle it till it gets in the right spot. There's bad, and then we're going to clear it up and see, just move it right back. So I'll continue to work on this. We'll get this cleared up. Uh, I want to show you one other screen before I do that, though, and let's switch over to that real quickly. This is the linearity screen, our 240p test suite. But see, you can see some really great things in the corners here on what's going on. So if I move this, you can kind of see that circle change. It changed colors. Oh, and it gets really separated right there. But I want to make sure that that too is lined up just perfect before I put my tape, my piece of plastic strip back into place permanently to try to keep this from happening in the future. Okay, so as you can see, we've cleared up our corners here. We have a nice clear corner, no convergence and our geometry has been set. So just one quick note, these are what those strips look like when you take them out. And uh, you have one here that's actually a nice factory made one, and then one that came out of an older model that's actually just a piece of tape with a magnetic, little piece of magnet, uh, very thin, taped to this just thin plastic. And then these are stuck to the back of your monitor by using either really nice double-sided tape, which is what I'll be using, or um, you can use some epoxy. I haven't found anywhere that you can actually buy some new one of these yet, uh, but if you know of any, please, please let me know even if there's some kind of kit. Uh, but again, just work this into the place you want it, get your screen to look good, and then put it into place permanently with either that tape or the epoxy. I'm Steve with RetroTech, and thanks for watching this quick talk. We'll see you next time.